say um, we are saying two things at the same time. First of all, is that we ignore it. Two is that even if we are good, which we are not, they will always perceive us to be bad. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm telling you that we are not good, and even if there's anything good in us, they will perceive it. They will portray it so bad because of the agenda I told you in 1979. Would it matter to us if they portray us as negative and bad? Of course, that's what China did in 1979, in 1978. When they came, he said, ignore whatever they say about us. Because if we look at whatever they say about us, we will never move forward. So that's if there is electricity 24-7 in Nigeria, definitely they would have no choice but to say that we're now ranked uh, 96 or 92. Even if they say it, ignore what they're saying. First of all, focus your eyes on the ball. Agenda. Focus your eye on the ball. Let me tell you. Let me ask you this. You see, we are too naive. Let me ask you. If you have a shop progressing there, and I have to set up a shop there, tell me the truth. Even if you're your brother, would you like me to succeed? To, be, to come and compete with you? Because the as they say, the sky is big enough for Which all is sky birds. Is no, you have a shop. You have a shop, and the people are lining up, and I'm setting up a shop in a way selling, to, to take selling, some of your customers. Selling, the selling same same thing. The same you, thing. you will allow me to do that. But I see it in other parts of the world. There no. are corner shops in London. No, one you know, that's not the argument. The argument is that nations are, are like companies. Door. Nations are like companies. They compete in four hours. Nations are in such a competition that it is not. It's not moralistic. There's no moral, moral grounds on nations. Yes, okay. Uh, let me ask Mr. Ojo, don't engage in, in, moral, in, moral, uh, Mr. Ojo, uh, 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 in terms of competition, we will, we will talk about competition later, but let's look at this report itself. Okay. In terms of the finite detail, I guess from what you have said, you've read it, in terms of the finite detail that is there, what would you say we ought to be doing to improve on whatever standard they say we already have now? Uh, I will answer that question by saying that first, I think one of our major problems as Nigerians is that we expect a magic wand to make uh, our situation better than it is. We always have a tendency to look at our situation as uh, the cup is uh, half empty instead of half full. I mean, there's a lot of perception problem here. Now, going, going to what we need to do, uh, you mentioned electricity. It is like you said, we cannot use lantern and candles to, 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 to grow the economy. Uh, so we need electricity. Fortunately, or good enough, there's been some uh, movement towards that direction to, to liberalize the system and bring in new investors. Until we do that, we cannot progress very well. Uh, and then we need to uh, look at our tax system. It is, it is, it is not the best. I mean, uh, like you I said, it is good. If it is not the best, is it good? Remember, Lagos State was the, was the basis for that measurement. And if you move to Abuja, it may not be as bad. If you move to Port Harcourt, it may not be as bad. Or even Kano. But when you look at our tax system, you mm. will say Lagos is practically the one that other state governments are coming to copy. In terms of the take, other state governments want more revenue. Yeah. So they want to see how Lagos State is doing it. Uh, of course, uh, there are multiple taxation in Lagos multiple. State. Multiple. I mean, from the local governments, they're always coming up with one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. And the state government needs money, so uh, it enforces the tax, the tax code very, very seriously. But what, what, what I'm saying is that we should look at that report seriously and look at the position Nigeria occupies. I don't think it helps us if we dismiss the report out of hand. There are, some of the countries above us are doing quite well. And, and then, Interestingly, you, mu you must have noticed too that Nigeria is doing better than India. I was going to say then that uh, the conspirators that don't want Nigeria to develop are also stopping India from developing. And they're conspiring against um, what you call Botswana as well to make sure that Botswana, <laughs> Botswana succeed because the improvement in terms of uh, doing business, ease of doing business in a country like Botswana is obvious. It, it, Botswana is doing very well. I think our destiny lies in our hands, not in the hands of some uh, foreign Which is what he is saying as well. Yes, in our hands. Yes, you know, that's what he said. That report, that report, it, we need to look at it seriously. We need to learn from it and implement some of the things, we're not, well, some of the things <laughs> we need to do well. We need to implement those things. For us to do well. Okay, right. let me let's let's let's, let's, you, let's break down yeah. some of the parameters please, please, which that's were used. Uh, that's something I want to add. I beg, I beg okay. your pardon. Okay, go ahead. I beg your pardon. Go ahead. Let's look at some of the parameters used. One of them is access to funding. Okay. So, 
How easy is it to access funds to set up businesses in Nigeria? I, in 2007, I wrote a paper, serious paper that I submitted to CBN. They need to create venture capital community in Nigeria. Because, let me tell you, federal government borrows at 16% using treasury bills and the sovereign bonds. So the banks don't lend. The bank, as a result, the bank don't see the reason why to lend to individuals or to companies with us the risk. So it is not easy to borrow money in Nigeria. So what we have in Nigeria is hot money, and you cannot use hot money to do long-time projects, especially if you're a business. And you see, it is, you have to understand that even the banks are into business. I don't blame the banks because they're using a, a, a depositors' money and the, and the shareholders' money. The banks, I was in China about two months ago, and I was chatting with my Chinese friend. They told me, Basel, you couldn't, you couldn't believe the Nigerian banks come to China to borrow at 2%. And That's they said two percent, two percent, and then they in, 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 they then lend the money. They actually don't lend the money. They use the money to open letters of credit, warehouse financing for Nigerian companies. Do you understand? Saying so, the only way a bank can lend you money is if you are into warehouse financing. But if you are an entrepreneur that you need four years or three years to burn a lot of cash before the return on investment start being cash flow start being positive. You better forget it because nobody will lend you. For you know, they talk about a uh, 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 bank of industry. Let bank of industry write, tell us how many people they have lent money to, and how they, they. You see, all these things are funny because we just play. We, I don't know. It depends me that this country, a great nation, with all the great wealth we have, and with all the great men and women we have, is still into this system. Let me comment quickly about liberalization of power. Can you allow me to do that? Because this is an issue that is very, very passionate to me. No nation allows a power critical sector. Power is the sensitive critical sector to allow individuals to own it or to handle it. Do you understand what I mean? There are individuals they, running distribution of uh, electricity in other parts of the look, world. We're talking about major generation. Look, take India. India is investing massively in nuclear aid powers. Brazil is doing so. South, um, South Africa is doing so. Um, uh, 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 my, my, uh, my China is doing so. Why do we leave it in the hands of private sector? Let me tell you why it is it is problematic. First of all, private sector in Nigeria private is not private sector capital. is only to distribute. No, to generate, you know. Some of them have to generate. Some of them no, to generate. Okay. To generate and distribute. To generate. Exactly. So let me tell you, unless we fix that sector, if we leave it in the hands of private sector, let me tell you what happens. Nigeria private sector, they don't have the money. You know what they do? They call foreign partners. What do foreign partners do? Let, let's be realistic. I, I love China, but at the same time, I will criticize China. Chinese are dumping goods in Nigeria. Why do they have that uh, uh, superior advantage? Because of power. At least, if Nigeria has power today, we, we have our problem. So why should the Chinese come and, and the partner with a Nigerian investor in the power generation and allow it to happen? Because it's like, it's just like shooting themselves in the foot. What they will do is to come as partners and stifle that, that, that business. Strategically. You see, we, we, you see, the problem is that we are not realistic. We, we, play not, we laugh over all these things. Nations don't develop by, say, friendship, and it is a battle you have to... You, but you are not going to kill somebody in that battle, but it's a battle to win. And if you are in that battle to win, you must do everything to win. I finished. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you finished. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Now, uh, let me ask you, Mr. Joe, uh, when we then look at all of these things, I can understand Mr. Weber's uh, frustration, uh, frustration <laughs> at what is happening and the conspiracy theory that uh, he's alluding to. But it is obvious to most of us that in terms of what we can do as a nation, we have the option. Like you said, the, 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 um, the, our, our faith or our destiny is in our hands. Why won't we obviously be doing the right thing? Even if we're ranked as 179, 290 out of 185, why won't we do the right thing to make sure that it is obvious that we're doing those things that would improve the ease of doing business in Nigeria that would improve ability to source for finance that will make it possible for electricity to work 24/7. Why won't we? Your question suggests that we're doing we're not doing well at all. Are we doing well? Since 1999, there, there has been incremen incremental progress 
honestly there has been. Compared to the period between 1983, December 1983, and 1999, we sometimes forget what the military did to this country. You know, the military took us back probably 50 years, probably 80 years, and then you ex expect all, the, all that rot to be, to, be, to, 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 be, to, to be solved within, within 10, 12 years. It is not possible. We must be patient. We must implement, we must implement 